Hello everybody and welcome to a first look tour of Bally Spring. This is by Irish Connor of Air Agri Modding. A big thank you to Air Agri Modding for giving this to me for this first look tour. Really excited to take a look at it. And I think really, without any further ado, we should just get straight into it. Right, so just like all my other map tours, I haven't toured the map first. This is the first time I've actually seen it. So it's going to be very interesting to discover all the different places for the first time. Uh, it looks like we actually start with our dog here. Hello dog, what's your name? Sparky. Hello Sparky. And we've got some chickens. And of course we've got our house just here. Nice looking property. And a workshop. No house is complete without a workshop. Okay, so let's open up the minimap and we'll see exactly where we are. Uh, looks like we're next to fill number 134. And you can really see how big this map is. Look how many fields it has. It looks like most of the fields are relatively small, but they're all very unique. All the shapes are unique. So I think uh, this may take quite some time to tour, although we're not going to look at every single field individually. So as you can see, everything in blue is what we own, and we don't have to walk very far to get to the farmyard. There's the house, and here is the yard. So let's have a quick look around here. Oh, so we start off with a Massey Ferguson tractor just here. A good shed. Some smaller sheds. The cows. Lots of sheds here. Uh, this looks like a grain silo. Yes, a grain silo. Nice handy place to store all of our grain. And what else do we have? A silage pit. And a slurry pit. So it is really set out very nicely ready for us just to get going and yeah there's nothing like we don't have to worry about placing a silage pit it's already here the same with slurry pits and everything it's just ready to go clearly a fully functioning farm so there are some bullet points here for me to go by and first of all i think as we're at the cow farm or at a cow farm i should point out that we do have some custom animals we've got some bulls calves goats ducks and more uh, it also has a multi-terrain angle, this map, custom traffic, custom seasonal growth, um, with cotton and sugarcane removed, of course, because those two crops are not grown in Ireland, uh, relight installed, custom sounds, custom NPCs, removable hedges, okay, so that's going to be good if you're wanting to expand fields or merge two, or three, um, productions and sell points, precision farming ready with a realistic soil map, that's a big one because it make it much easier to plan which crops are going to which fields, for example. Uh, most things are only going to work once the land has been purchased. For example, animals and silos. Um, it's also inspired by rural Ireland, so bushes coming slightly into the road is intentional. Okay. Yeah, so a very natural look. Which I also like. So that is referring to, like, here, where we've got the bushes overhanging the road. Which, of course, you, you really do see in, in real life around Ireland and the UK and probably other countries as well. Especially these tight country lanes, all the grass is flopping over into the middle of the road. So I mentioned the Massey Ferguson. We have this one. We also start off with this one, the 3670. And it looks like we don't have a pickup truck, so we're going to be touring this map in a tractor, which I think is quite fitting. I'm happy to do that. So my plan is to go sort of clockwise. We're going to come across here to begin with, across to the farm silo, then go down here, up and around, and then finish somewhere around the orange area. So let's get going. I'll open the minimap up on here. And I am discovering this for the first time, of course, so I'm going to have to really figure out which way to go. But it does seem like a very nice place. Very picturesque very detailed and very well done just move the tractor back that gate's going to open inwards so goodbye sparky we'll see you again later we need to turn left and i think maybe this first bit can be done in first person view although i do like to do map tours in third person view as you do get to see more of the map it's just yeah when you're in quite a dense area with lots of foliage lots of trees uh, maybe first person is better. 
I'm already loving this map and I've only driven out the yard. So you can see we've got quite a lot of overgrown bushes again. It's all very natural. Fin number 82 on the right, which is one of our fields to start off with. And it goes into a nice bit of woodland. But there is another field through here, fin number 98. And I'm wondering if we can actually drive around here. Okay, so what do we have? This is our gate. So it's like a barbed wire sort of gate. Yeah, we probably could drive around, but I'm going to walk it. And I might do some aerial shots as well, just to show other parts of the map. As I said, there is a silo, but yeah, we're probably better off discovering that at the end. So that's where we'll finish. But yeah, let's get that drone out. We're not going to go too high. Just so we can see some of these fields a bit better. Just get above the trees. Right, so there's a track, a country lane just over there, which I'm sure we're going to drive down. A oh, nice bit of water. I didn't see that before. The attention to detail here is magnificent. And we even have some fishermen over there. That's great. Hello. You enjoy your cup of tea. Looks like you've even got some Air Agri merchandise. Well, we better close the gate behind us. Let's head back. Get back in this direction. And we'll continue the tour. We're continuing to go left. So yeah, there's also custom traffic. Got a few houses dotted around. I think it's best if I just look around because the fields are fairly self-explanatory. And you will keep seeing different tracks that go to other fields. Right, so sticking with our turning left idea, <laughs> just keep turning left. We do have a sign here. So this is Bally Spring Timber Yard. Okay, right, so I think uh, we're gonna have a look at that first of all. It's just down here. You can actually see another farm up on the top of the hill there. So this is probably our opportunity to go and take a look at that as well. I think the turning fruit was back there. But this is the sawmill. There we go. So there's all the timber. Just switched on the zone marker so you can see. But yeah, this looks like it's ready to purchase. £50,000 for the sawmill. And it looks like at the back of the sawmill we do have a little forest. Nice little woodland. Right, let's get back to that purple ring just up there. As I said, we need to go back where we came from. I think I missed the turning. Should be just up here. I like that all the different farms are actually marked on the minimap. That's making it much easier. Okay, let's get back to third person view so you can have a look at the fields. Also, I really approve of the Massey Ferguson starting tractors. Very good. Okay, and the farms are even signposted. It would be faster to use a pickup, but this gives us a much better opportunity to just take in the area at leisure. Here we are. Right, okay, so that must be the farmhouse just there. Let's open this gate up. And I'm guessing we do have more animals here. Probably around the back. Very, very generous shed sizes. It's good to see. There's nothing worse than when you're trying to store all your machinery and there's nowhere to put all of the implements and tractors. Ah, here we go. Is it a cow shed? As I was already told, um, not everything 
regarding the animals works correctly until you've actually purchased the land. But yep, you get the idea. It is another farm. It looks like it is a cow farm. It's quite a nice one actually, tucked away in the forest. Moving on. So that is the turning again for the sawmill. We continue down here. Looks like we do have another business. They're all fairly decent sized fields. It's impressive how many there are. Okay then, so that's another business just there. I think we'll probably pull in over here. Potatoes! Okay, so this is Gaunt Food Group. Looks like a potato, it looks like they're primarily focused on potatoes. Some nice models. Potato boxes. And whilst we're here, we'll cross the road. Take a look at this place. So we've definitely got a debris crusher. But also in here, it looks like we do have a sell point for grain. Moving on to the red farm. So this is heading over to the red farm. Just keep following the signposts. Farm to the right. Fields to the left. Sheep and goats, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so as usual, we have the farmhouse, just there, and all of the sheds. Oh, look at this. An old tractor. And a workshop. And a milk churn. I'm trying to show you everything um, without making the video too long. That's my, always my concern with these um, first look tour videos. It's like to give you an overview. Right, it's going to take a look at those animals. I'm very interested in the goats, especially. They're going to be great fun. So here we have sheep. And here we have a goat. Hello. <laughs> Very nice. This goat is eight months old. And here we have a ram. Twelve months old. And here we have a sheep. And we've got some lambs. Oh, that's very nice field this so nice to see and we have another little lamb over here hello little lamb I love it this is my kind of map I will certainly be doing some kind of let's play on here um, yes at the moment I'm not sure what kind uh, whether it's roleplay or anything like that but yeah I'm not gonna let this map pass me by that's for sure it's way too good. And I think that must just go down to the fields. Let's go and have a look. I think it... Yes, it goes to the lower fields, but we will have a look anyway. Although I can't be doing this with every single turning. Otherwise, this is going to end up being a two-hour video. We do have an old shed. Oh, it looks like there's a little surprise in the shed. An old tractor. Oh, an old mice tractor at 1200. Massey Ferguson. Good restoration project. <laughs> That's part of its rim. We're back at the main road now. We're going to go up here and then we're going to drop down to here, which is a silo. Um, and then I think we're going to have to go past this area to get to see whatever this is. That'd be interesting to see. And then from there we can. Uh, Go up here, go up there, and then somehow cut through and have a look at all the other places. <laughs> it's such a detailed map. I like that the traffic are really slowing down for the corners too. Not just going super fast and then detecting another car and sitting there. So we're now onto this part of the road which we've not been on yet, 
We have a farm sign just there, that's the blue farm. Let's go over this cattle grid, take a look. So this looks like a more well-maintained track over the other ones. So maybe it's a place where they have more customers, maybe to store grain. Let's have a good look. Or maybe they just like mowing their drive. Nice farmhouse. Very nice. Uh, right, so, yep, big grain silos here. More animals. Of course, yes, things like floating trees will be fixed before release, so if you do see those, you don't need to worry about them. Okay, so this is a nice farm. With lots of storage. Right, so yeah, you can get across to all these fields here. But we're going to go back to the main road. There's even a combine under the tree. A lot of restoration projects, in fact. Uh, yeah, I was going to say we go back to the main road, but I've just spotted we have some kind of ruin. Maybe that's what I saw on the map before. Yeah, some kind of ruin. Castle ruin or something. It's a place of interest. Very nice. Okay, um, so as I'm now on foot, I'll go down to that square and see what that square's all about. Okay, it's the BGA. They're probably not used to having people coming the back way. Big, big silos here. Big processors. And this is where we should have come in. And we even have a waybridge. So we can weigh the trailers. Okay, it's getting a little bit more densely populated over here. We have the vehicle dealer, Bally Spring Tractors, Agco. Got a fuel station. And we've got a big workshop for servicing and repairing all the machines. There is a field just down there. It's also how we get to the BGA. And then moving on a bit past all these houses, uh, we do have another business just here, the pub. So they probably buy things like milk and eggs, that sort of thing. I will take a look. This place is called Bally Spring Inn and they are buying most things. In fact, pretty much everything. Seems like a good place to come to, not just for a drink. Moving on, we've got a church just over here. And the churchyard. Lots of fields. And then, yeah, you can access a couple more fields down that way, but we're going to be turning right. We're going to go and discover a load more up here. That is ever so realistic, especially with that wind turbine on the horizon. An extremely realistic view. So up here, I believe we have another farm. Yes, we do. Sort of a pinky purple farm. Not only that, but we also have a forest. And I'm really loving the stone walls. So this looks like our main forest. By the look of things, yeah, that's huge. So if you're into forestry, this is a good place to come to. Going past the forest, it looks like we have a burnt down house or some other building. Wow. It's a burnt down farm. At least the tractor survived. It's nasty. Quite a ruin. Even the barn went. Okay, well, uh, by the way, if you are wondering about the frame rate drop, it's just, it's all the trees. I get this on every map. I think I probably have my graphic settings too high. 
and then we have another farm just here so for this one we're just going to jump out leave the tractor there this one's quite shady with all the trees around lots of sheds silos again I love that all the farms have got silos certainly no issue for storing machinery and grain and again we have animals if we purchase the land so there we have it another farm and then up here I know we do have just mostly fields but there is something square which I've spotted it might be a house just take a look at that yeah I think it is that house that we can see but you really can make a unique experience with every playthrough that you do on this map because there's so many different farms that you can start with own a different farm and create a different scenario you can see all those big mountains over there I understand this is a fictional map time to cut across so we're going to go over here it's quite hilly over here as well and this is going to bring us to another complex of businesses by the look of it after that I think we're going to cut across to the orange farm which we might have to do on foot I should have done that I think before it would have made sense then we can go back to the lime green and the green farm okay I wasn't expecting this this wasn't marked as a circle on the map but we do indeed have another farm and it's a big one a very big one Look the size of that shed wow huge uh, so we better cross over I'll have a look in here I think the farms are all fairly similar to the sheds that they have they all have a similar number of sheds and the same sort of storage space so it's relatively balanced and then we've got a house there possibly is it the farmhouse? oh no probably a farm workers house or something, something like that and then we've got this lovely bridge very nice and by the look of it we have more animals I think these are calves they are indeed. Hello. Little calf. Yes, yeah, really loving that we've got these different animals. It is a baby. It makes for a much more immersive experience having different animals. And then, around the back, we have the dairy. And then this complex here is possibly the livestock markets. I think it, yeah, I think it is. Bali Spring Markets. There we go. And once again, the attention to detail is fantastic. So we've got the show ring and the seating here. And then the enclosures for the animals. Another ruin. It's not a bad map for roleplay, I must admit. <laughs> In fact, it is a very good map for roleplaying on. Uh, and then we have the dairy. Yeah, so we're just driving here, spin around. Is it automatic or is it... What is this? Uh, so we have the milk tankers. And then we can purchase this place, purchase the dairy for £70,000 as it is one of our productions you possibly have to buy the dairy for the barrier to work not 100% sure yet ok, um, so it's time to cut across I think we'll just get past fill number 4 and then we'll take a look at the orange farm first we do have something else on the corner here 
another business. Okay, what do we have? Some kind of sell point. Grain sell point. It is sell everything. Obviously a very handy place to come to if you're selling different products. Okay, so over the water again. Go around for number four. And then, yeah, we're going to go on foot to the orange farm. So we're now over here. Here's the farmhouse. And here are all the farm buildings. And it looks like we do have a ram over here. Hello. You eat your food. And a baby lamb. And a sheep. Diesel tank. The detail is great, it's just making it so immersive. There we have it. So to conclude, we have two more farms to go to. Both of which can be accessed from this track. So we'll go for the lime green, sort of class green farm first of all. And then we'll go to that one over there. Lots of pasture land. Okay. So this is our lime green farm. Have a quick look around. I like this. Seed by point. See refill point. I've got some cows here. Hello cows. Angus cows. And now down to this farm. I think it's the last farm that we need to look at. But one thing is for sure, there's no shortage of farms. Certainly lots of things to keep us busy. And there we have it. So I think we are pretty much at the end of the tour. I'm going to head down here. Um, and I think we'll probably see all these fields as a flyover. With the drone. But that is a summary, a summary tour of Bally Spring. And from what I've seen so far, it looks amazing. So as with all of my first videos, there probably are some details that I've missed. But that's fine, because they're the sort of things we can discover whilst playing on the map. We don't want to see everything in the first video. We need some surprises. Okay, let's pull over here. We'll get the drone out again. Fly up into the air through the tree and yes this is the uh, all this is the land which I have not been to but you get the idea because obviously we can't look at over a hundred fields individually I'm very impressed this is a very good map so as I said I definitely will be doing a, a series on this in some way whether it's role play or just a standard let's play um, but this was my overview video of it it's the first video I really hope you enjoyed it, and once again a massive thank you to Air Agri Modding, to the whole team. It is fantastic. Definitely worth checking out once it's been released. So thank you so much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.